Okay guys, today we're going to do an unboxing of a Marineland Penguin 350 filter. Uh, in the past I've owned a couple of the 330s and I've had one of them that is still running after about 8 years. So I'm just going to show you what this one's all about. I'll start taking it apart and see what we got here. This is a good value. is only about, uh, I'd say, around 30 bucks or so on Big, Al Big Al's online. Um, they were... Uh, I was buying some other stuff anyway, so I needed one, so I thought it would be a good idea. Alright, you can see it's got a picture of, the, of, it, of it on the back. Pretty good. The only thing that I can see initially that I don't like about it is, you can see right here, it has a square tube, down tube. I prefer the round ones because sometimes I like to, on one of mine, I re relocated it using some clear tubing to the other side of the aquarium to get better circulation. but. This one, this should be okay for now because I'm going to use it in a smaller aquarium. And um, it's probably a little oversized for a 30-gallon aquarium. But uh, I don't know. I, I, get, I just want to try and use it. We'll see what happens. So should be okay. Okay, we're going to take it out. And let's see what we got. Should be pretty f straightforward here. Got us, you know, the standard cord falling out of the bottom there. Uh, let's see. Okay. See, we got a little a lid that goes on top of it. We've got a couple comes with the filter bags. Looks like it's got two of them there. Pretty standard for all of these. They're probably the same cartridge refills that uh, fit the 330, probably. If anybody knows, you can always comment in. You can see the bag. It's got the uh, down tube there and strainer um, that looks like most of the other ones. Again except for it is square. We'll see how this works out with a down tube extender. I guess if you have a bigger tank like a 55 or something like that, you want to go deep there. So take this off. I can see it's got the, uh, the bio wheels on it and nice and new, spinning good. So um, let's see. Yeah, it looks good. It's got some uh, documentation. Hmm, pretty cool. And it says that you can uh, add an extra filtration cartridge in there. And I've always also, uh, in the bagged ones, um, in the past when I needed to add something, I've just cut those open and uh, filled them up with uh, all kinds of different things that I happen to need to put in there. So um, let's see. See if there's anything else down in there. Looks pretty, uh, pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this... Uh, Put it all together and let you see it in action. Okay, there you can see it's all built and put together. I'll go up top, you can see it's got a nice cover. I, the only thing, I hope it's quiet. Um, my old one is pretty quiet except for when a little sand sand or something gets caught in the impeller and it'll get loud for just a minute and then it'll get, it'll get quiet again. Um, it's hard to see in this light. You see there, it has a black tube. It's hard to see against the box, but... Um, you can see that uh, there's the intake tube and it turned out that actually you did have to use the extension on this or otherwise uh, this piece wouldn't fit on properly so um, that's okay though I think if you really wanted to I guess you could just bypass it and use that directly on there but I'm going to use it see how it works um, pretty good looking filter so I'm going to go ahead and uh, install it now and uh, I'll give you another video uh, or I'll show you when I get it uh, up and running. Okay guys, this is the tank it's going to be installed in. I'll do a close-up so you can see. It looks pretty rough. I've been neglecting it. Um, plus I had an undersized filter on it for a while and that's what part of what prompted me to buy it. Um, it's installed now and I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and prime it, put some water in it and we'll get this uh, bad boy going and I'll show you uh, I will show you what uh, what it can do. Okay, and um, you can see we got the. Should be able to see. Let me, let me take the cover off. Or you can. Yeah, you can see. You see the wheels are spinning. Um, you can see it's putting out serious uh, water flow. Um, temporarily, it looks like it's going to make the tank a little cloudy while it dusts up everything. I'm going to add a little bit more water to it, but uh, should be good, you know. Um, and. 
again looks good for a uh, fish will probably like this too so there we go okay guys here's the uh, last part it's been running for a while um, you can still see see some detritus on the bottom there um, nice big snail who hitched a ride on some plant a long time ago and now he's getting pretty big um, but you can see uh, it's running running pretty good I need to stir up the bottom a little bit maybe get it uh, a little bit more um, just a little bit more uh, a little clearer I have a diatom filter uh, one of the uh, vortex um, that I might run on the tank if I can't get the fine uh, the very fine stuff out then I'll I'll do that but uh, other than that I'm happy with the water flow and uh, I think it'll be a much healthier environment any questions or comments post it on the on the comment section okay you can see uh, after running the filter overnight you can see the water cleaned up real good uh, a lot of the uh, thin set of, or um, the really uh, really t small detritus that was on the bottom uh, you can see it's pretty much been filtered out still a little bit inside those uh, inside those PVC pipes but I'll just kind of uh, shuffle those around to clean it up pretty neat though um, anyways uh, so I think the filter is working pretty good I think it's a good value for 30 bucks roughly can't, uh, can't go wrong with that so uh, um, hopefully this one will last a uh, another eight or ten years like the uh, previous one did so we'll see but uh, if you have any questions or concerns or anything go ahead and uh, just post them on the comments section and I'll uh, be sure to answer them thank you